Okay then, uh, joined by Malk. Hi. Big defeat last week, Malk. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, was, it was looking pretty good at half time in some ways. Like, you know, wheels fell off. What happened? Well, I mean, you can't particularly put, up, put uh, your finger on one incident where we, where we did go wrong. I just think that we probably, um, you know, we had a fantastic, you know, first half. We, we, we came through the first half. I was under the cosh in the first ten minutes of the first half as well. So, you know, we came through that and got, got in control of the game. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, capitalise on a few opportunities in the first half. Uh, sorry, the second, the start of the second half, and I think if we had done that, uh, even Robbie called, uh, called a penalty against him if, if he scored the try, or you know Johnny Wilson dropped the ball on the right, he would have got repeats off that. You know, I think we'd have gone on to win the game, but um, that wasn't to be. We gave away too many penalties in good field position, and they just marched us down the field. And Warrington are a class team at the other end of the field, and we just couldn't stop the roller. Over the course of the year, you've, uh, you've had some pretty big scalps, really. Um, you know, the most notable. St. Helens down here perhaps leads away. What's has anything happened differently? Do you think in the mindset of the players in those games from like the games where maybe the fans expect you to win, like at Celtic? Do you think like, the start seems to be pretty fast against St. Helens? Uh, no, we started really fast against Celtic, didn't we? We yeah, were twelve nil up, you know, with, with, with fifteen minutes gone. So, you know, for some reason we're either we're either um, lacking uh, the ability to concentrate for a duration of the game, or you know, we're just falling off and losing intensity somewhere. And, I think it's a combination of things. I don't think you can put the finger on it. Otherwise, you know, it wouldn't have happened again after Celtic if I knew the answer to it. So we've just got to keep on being positive. We've got to stay together as a team, as a club. Um, stay together. We're still in our, our building process of the first year in Super League. Um, you know, we've had some good scalps, and um, we're just got to build on this for next 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 year. Back at the Willows now. I think there's uh, four home games to go, including two in a week. Starting this week against Wakefield and Catalan next week. Go back to the crowd against St. Helens. It was like a, you know, the place was bouncing, wasn't it? Really, it's obviously good to recapture that kind of thing. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, I think it's a combination of, of things. I think obviously it, we, we got control of that game pretty early on, and we played extremely well for the full 80 minutes. So, you know, it's catch 22. You know, the, the, the fans then feel obliged and their adrenaline's pumping, so they get behind you, and it's you know, it's fantastic. But you know, we also do need that uh, that buzzing atmosphere when, when, we're, when we're behind as well, because you know, it's like an extra man if you like. And, you know, I remember when, was, when we finished fifth, we used to get the um, the cheering when was um, when was defending. You know, every tackle yeah. we used to get a cheer, and that, that really used to spur me on personally. And um, I used to find that a massive uh, benefit to us. So, you know, the more fans that can come down now for the remaining four home games and get behind us would be would be fantastic. And you know, also the club up behind the scenes are going through a building process. Um, and I wonder who Bentham's find it pretty difficult at the minute with uh, you know trying to scrape through sponsorship with the way the uh, economic climate is and. I know he's got a good deal on the minute for uh, the Celtic game. So, uh, sorry, the uh, Catalan game. I think it's three fifty for for six people with a meal up there and the, with the sponsors, etc. So, you know, it'll be good to see um, you know the, the, the community get behind this the club and hopefully we can start improving and uh, not have repeat performance of that last week because you know we know that's not acceptable. Um, it's not acceptable to ourselves, to the fans, and to the coaches. So. We, we won't be looking at trying to uh, replicate that for sure and uh, we want to put some things right this week. It's another tough game, obviously, Wakefield uh, had some fairly good results for themselves across the season. What needs to change? Well, obviously, for the start, we need, we, we need to uh, try and replicate the first half of, uh, of the Warrington game or if we try and get a bit better start with, than that one. But uh, you know, once we do get control of the game, not give the, the, uh, the, the game back to the opposition, I think we give up too much field position. Uh, too easy. I think that's that's our biggest downfall. And when you're defending your own line, it's just too hard to stop teams at this level uh, to, to to stop the roll on. And once teams get roll on, you've got to try and some find some momentum change and whatever that might be. We've got a few ideas if that does happen again how to stop that. So you know, we'll, we'll, hopefully, we'll be getting that position though. Cool. Cheers, Mark. Good luck weekend. Thank uh, you. See you shortly. Cheers, Mark.